What's going on YouTube? This is Seha Man back with another figure review. And today we're going to be taking a look at the Man of Steel. Movie Masters, this is Superman. Uh, this is a, a, a figure that I've actually been really excited to get. Um, these are hitting Walmarts, Targets, Toys R Us. You can even find them on Toys R Us.com. I mean, I mean uh, not for shipping though, but it just says that they're in stock. And uh, I'm really excited for uh, the figures, really excited for the movie that's coming out. I'm so pumped up to um, see this movie. I don't know about you guys. Uh, let me know in the comments below. Are you guys really excited to see this Man of Steel movie? I think it's, it looks like um, that, you know, we're finally going to get the Man of Steel that we deserve. So uh, packaging on this guy, the packaging looks pretty good. You can see here, I do like the way it looks. If you look at the background, the logo on the S there has like that texture that the suit has. Um, right there, it says Adult Collector, Man of Steel. It's got the logo there. On the bottom, it reads Movie Masters. So this is this is a really cool uh, packaging. The figure looks great. I mean, if you're a Minnow card collector, this looks this looks awesome. This looks really, really awesome. Uh, nothing on the sides, the bottom, you know. It, of course, this is by Mattel. There's DC on the bottom left. Right there on the back, we got the other figures that complete the series. I mean, there's obviously, there's Superman, there's Jor-El, and there's uh, General Zod. I'll be reviewing them as well. And a little read-up, we'll get into that. It says, born on the doomed planet of Krypton, Cal-El's Cal parents knew the only chance their child had to survive was to find a new home, the planet Earth. Here, he was ground, he was found and raised by the Kent family growing up on a farm in Smallville as their son Clark Kent, although his body slowly developed extraordinarily powers, Clark didn't realize his full potential until he uncovered some links to his birth planet, including a glyph embla zoned blue and red suit and the journey as a truly and the journey as a hero truly began. So it says here, Movie Masters with authentic detail, deluxe articulation, and supreme quality. The Movie Masters lines offers fans the premium collecting experience true to scale. These figures are expertly crafted to ensure the highest standards for your collection. So it says here on the bottom, look for more Movie Masters deluxe figures. So I'm, getting, I'm, you know, I'm pretty sure we're going to be getting more uh, Movie Master figures. This is uh, just Series 1. But what we're going to do is take a quick break and we're going to take a close look at Superman. So stay tuned, guys. Okay, so here we have Superman outside of the packaging. This is a really nice figure. And as you can see here, the figure does come with a display base. Uh, we'll take a close look here at Superman. Kind of looks like he's got like a 5 o'clock shadow going on there or some kind of a tan. But if you look down here, the, the figure is very, very nicely um, sculpted. The cape looks great. And uh, looks like to be in the uh, six inch scale, but we'll do it in a uh, size comparison because as we all know, the uh, Movie Masters Batman figures were a little um, on the short side. But what we're gonna do is take a quick little break and we're gonna do a closer detailed look at Superman. So stay tuned for that. All right, so here we go, guys. Let's take a close look at Superman. Um, what are we gonna What we're gonna look at first is the base that he does come with. So it's really cool that we get this base, uh, so you can display your figure with. And you can see it's just an S. It's got a peg there, and if you can make it out, it even has that like texture uh, look that his suit has, which is really cool. So he does have that, pretty nice. And um, that's it. That's 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 that's, uh, that's all you get for this figure as far as accessories go. Now, taking a look at Superman himself, this is actually a really, really nice figure. When I was looking into the uh, um, the pictures on this guy, I don't know why my camera is not zooming in, or not focusing, I should say. Let's get a closer look here. I didn't really like how the pictures look, to be honest with you, but now that I have the, the figure in hand, it's actually really nice. Um, I do like the way the head sculpt came out. He does somewhat resemble the actor who's going to be playing Superman. He's got the bright blue eyes. Uh, like I said, he's got this little uh, color here in the uh, cheeks. I don't. It kind of looks like a five o'clock shadow, 
uh, let me know if you guys if you know if you guys have this figure if you guys have this uh, same thing going on here but the head sculpt looks really good they did a great job on sculpting the face the lips the little uh, the little dimple in the chin there the hair looks great as well it's uh, nicely sculpted you can see that there it looks really good um, the outfit I really like this Superman outfit I don't know about uh, if you guys do or not but it kind of resembles the uh, new 52 um, Superman outfit it doesn't have the red trunks either he's got the belt there of course the S right there and the outfit has that little texture that's going on throughout the whole thing he's got two two close fists the cape is pretty much like one you would normally get on a uh, get this out of the way on a, uh, a DC UC figure it's a softer uh, plastic material but it looks really really good I really like the way the cape came out of course there's no S on the um, on the cape there and here's the uh, shot of the back there and here's the boots get a little close up on that pretty cool there's the bottom they got two peg holes it's a really nice it's a really really nice looking Superman I, I am really happy um, with this figure now let's go over the articulation really quick on this guy the arms do go in and out they go forward and back he's got a bend at the bicep rotation in the arm rotation in the wrist the head can rotate can also slightly go up and down uh, he's got nothing in the waist though nothing at all in the waist or, or on the ab crunch I should say but he does have a waist articulation legs do go in and out forward and back a bend at the knee um, you got a, like a mid, mid uh, leg swivel there can't speak foot goes up and down it doesn't rotate no lower leg rotation or, um, either so it's not it's not uh, really like a, a, your standard DC UC articulated figure but it still works and this is just a freaking this is this is seriously a really nice figure uh, very happy with the Superman line so far a little size comparison uh, this is the only Superman I have in hand. We got the um, Injustice Superman that was just released. So you can see here, he's pretty much in scale with um, the uh, DC uh, UC figures. This Superman uh, Injustice is, is a little uh, taller. You can see that there, just slightly taller. Now if I were to bring in a Movie Masters Batman figure, get him to stand straight, you can see he is a little, he's a little shorter than the uh, uh, DC um, Movie Masters Batman figures. So this Superman is six inch scale. He's gonna go in scale with your with your DC UC figures. Um, so this that's really cool to have. But this Superman is fantastic. Very very happy to to get a a, a Movie Master Superman and just really excited for the movie. Can't wait to see it. And he's he's got pretty smooth articulation. Um, so you, I'm you know I'm gonna get him into some poses and see you know exactly what I can do with him. But a very very good Superman figure uh, highly recommend them especially if you're a Superman fan you're definitely gonna wanna go check this out and he is hitting stores now guys so be on the lookout for the Superman Man of Steel Movie Masters Superman alright guys this is Sahaman hope you guys enjoyed the review we'll see you guys later take care